What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Show. My name's AJ Gales. How y'all doing? We are back with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Gonna, uh, gonna try something that I was, uh, that I failed at off camera. And that, uh, apparently is a, is a legendary animal fight. We, uh, we get to have these in this game. So yeah, apparently this is some legendary elk or something. Elk of bloody peaks. Uh, I mean, really, I, I just do shit damage. As long as you stay con as long as you, you know, concentrate and shit. He's not hard to beat. You know, I'm not sure how the legendary animals and all this stuff, you know, like, I know that there's, like, certain things from mythology. I mean, you know, the whole raven thing, you know, being a sign of Odin and everything. You know, so I, so I mean, I, I get why Eivor's, you know, bird in this one is a, is a raven. But I, I I know there's mythology stuff, as in you know you fight monsters from mythology, or at least I think you do. I know you fight a few legendary animals or whatever. Um, Odyssey had that too, and if you ask me, I wasn't a big fan of it. Just because, to me, Assassin's Creed has always kind of been grounded. Uh. And, you know, I, yes, I understand. It's, you know, we're in a machine that uses the DNA of ancestors to... Well, at least that's what it used to be. Now it's, you know, they've changed the canon. So now that the Animus can just record memory from just DNA that you have that anyone can relive. But... Still, you get what I mean. Um, you know, I, I get it. We're, we're using technology that allows us to relive me uh, memories of ancient uh, ancestors and everything like that. You know, the Pieces of Eden was about as mystical as it got really early on in the game. I mean, hell, even, not even just early on, I mean, through Syndicate, that was really how it was. I mean, there was some stuff in Origins that was a little mystical that could be explained by the fact that, you know, we were a Magi, you know, not, you know, we were sort of a mystic in and of itself. Mix that with any, you know, of the, like, the white, what used to be the white room of, you know, Bayek standing over, you know, the assassin standing over their target was always a, uh... I <laughs> just need an elk in the fucking face. But as I was saying, you know, anytime that, like, Bayek had those special um, cutscenes after he took out one of his assassination targets, in my opinion, those were just for style, you know, like, they weren't actually happening, you know. So... Or that's how I've always seen the white room or whatever in any of the Oh shit, I'm out of I'm out of arrows. It's like, uh, you wanna you wanna shoot Ivor? No? Okay. <laughs> then I realized ah, I didn't have any arrows. Sorry, I'll get back to I'll I'll try and finish this point that I'm stammering through. I'm trying to stay focused because I know if I make a small fuck up, I'm just gonna get killed for no reason. Just there was some moments where you fought I knew you could have fought, like, Medusa in... Ah, uh, Jesus Christ, that's what I mean by... If I fuck up, I'm gonna get killed. I 
almost got him. I mean, basically the point I'm trying to make is, this legendary animal that I just fought to me, seemed like it could have been a just a real just animal. I mean, it's just a big ass elk that you know that people saw and then just played up until they're like, oh, well, this is some legendary creature. Well, now it's just an elk. At the end of the day, um, but yeah, uh, the the point I'm trying to make here. Sorry, I'll get back to it. Was that there was? I, I know you could fight Medusa and some other mythological figures from. Uh, Greek mythology, it just didn't make sense to me. It's like, well, is this, is this, what, why would Cassandra or Alexios be fighting them? Is it a hallucination? Is it, as far as we could tell, it was something caused by the pieces of Eden, I think, but even then, that game really didn't revolve around the pieces of Eden. I mean, unless, was the Spear of Lee? I, I, I still have not finished Odyssey. That game just did not interest me. And just, I'm, I'm really gonna have to try and dig back into that game, but, um, you know, I can't remember if the Spear of Leonidas was a, was even a piece of Eden. I think it was. But yeah, but I mean, there, there was just things you could do in that game that made no fucking sense to me. And again, I, I get it. You want to tell me, well, you know, AJ, you should know. You know, you love this franchise. That yeah, there's gonna be some fantastical shit that you can do, and there's this, that, the other thing. Okay, sure. I'm I'm not gonna argue with that. But Odyssey took it just too far, in my opinion. Where I'm just like, eh, I couldn't really justify it. And again, this is a personal opinion. If you disagree, you disagree. If you like Odyssey, you like Odyssey. I'm not gonna, you know, you you know my opinion on that stuff. You know, we can disagree and have an argument and, you know, walk away friends, but that's just, it's the way I, this is the way I see it. I've, I, yeah. So I was, so, ah, there we go, reindeer antlers. I was told it's only like a 30% drop rate on the, uh, on the male deer or the reindeer or whatever, and it's actually kind of hard to get these antlers. I'm also really going to have to put in some work to hunt those things down because apparently this quest is time locked. I, it, I, as in, I get to a certain point of the game and it locks and I can't complete it, so. Oh, shit. Didn't think it would actually attack me. I wish I could kind of like, like I could um, throw my axes and pick them back up. Oh, I have a... I can't get a clean shot on him. God damn it, I got distracted again. But yeah, whatever, I pretty much made my point. That I feel like the, the mythological stuff in Odyssey would just... It went a little too far. With it, that I couldn't justify that it happened to the... You know, to the character it was happening to, if that makes sense. Be careful! Or be cursed. Foul magic gathers here. A pestilence poisons this land. What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? My prey is the most cunning of beasts. Capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You are hunting someone then? A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted Seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I will weigh this against the effort. The Morlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Alright, let me let me see if I can remember some of my, you know, the ancient Norse shit. Um, I believe that Hur is basically the soul. And Seder magic is 
a type of magic that is not of the typical Norse pantheon. I, you know, I, it, it's magic that lies outside of, um, you know, Odin and his pantheon. I believe that's what it is. Don't quote me on it. Am I supposed to be following this dude? Not sure if I'm supposed to follow this guy or... I think he said follow him. I'm looking for this hut that he mentioned. Huh, this is probably it. Have you come to face me, finally? Or will you come? Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you're not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. There's a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Do not listen. Okay, so basically he's a... No thoughts to poison. Die, monster! What was I saying? So basically, this warlock is kind of like a... a, a, a I don't want to say alchemist. That's not the right... Apothecary? I mean, he's, he's using medicine, not... You know what I mean? He's using medicine and not... Magic. Although, I guess, you know, given this day and age, what's the difference sometimes? You know, I was talking with uh, with Brian Gade in the comments of it was either the first video or the second one. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm just gonna let them fight it out, see who wins. Um, he told me that yeah, I that that what I'm thinking about the the gear system in this game that there's a lot less gear drops than there was in Odyssey. In Odyssey, it just seemed like you you constantly found duplicates, and it was just it was very MMO like how you picked up gear in that game. In this one, be cleansed of these twisted deceivers. I struck first, so I will claim the bounty. You may take what you wish from its covers. Yeah, I wasn't gonna just off and kill the guy. But I will, you know, loot the body. That I have less, um, you know, less problems with. But yeah, I'm not just going to out and out kill the guy. But yeah, uh, sorry, I got distracted again. But yeah, what I was saying about the, the gear system in this game, that yes, the gear system is very... Um, What's the word? I'm not sure what those are. If those are possible locations for wealth or what, I might have to go double check them. I'm going to head back to the village instead of just simply crossing the river here. I'm going to head back to my to my longboat. Yeah, head back to my longboat, sail around here, do this main mission. Probably come up here, do... Uh, this quest or miss find this mystery that's here in this this village grab this high point so yeah that's probably what we're we're gonna do i'm gonna finish this quick point and then uh, just kind of make some cuts but as i was saying uh the gear system in this game is very much um like the older games really you find your gear i'm gonna get I, i'm not sure if you can actually just out and out craft new gear i'm not gonna have to you know kind of play around and explore and see if you can actually craft new gear at the blacksmith. But, you know, you go out, you find new gear. There's gear, there's specific gear sets. There's specific, um, what was I saying? There's specific gear sets. Uh, they all have their own appearance. Uh, they fall into one of three classes. I think it's based off of the skill system. Right, where you have the, uh, the raven, 
the wolf and the um what was the other one? Okay, is it is it bear? I think it's the raven, the wolf, and the bear. I think those are the three three skill classes. So it's a it's an interesting system. Oh shit, I've got a bunch of skill points. I won't crouch on detected it. Definitely wants uh, I want that skill. More stealth damage. More range damage. Yeah, this is how I like to play. Light damage. Yeah, I should probably also kind of branch out a little bit more, though. Yeah, melee resistance, because I take hits, because I'm dumb. I never was a big fan of the combat abilities. You know, that was that was a big thing in in um, Odyssey that I did not like was the combat abilities, but whatever. I'm just splitting hairs when I say that. But, uh, yeah, the, the gear system in this game actually seems like it's worth a damn, unlike... Uh, Unlike what Odyssey's was, again, in my opinion. But all right, I'll stop. I'll stop yakking, and we'll get to some important shit. Well, I found out what those those little um those those little. Oh, fuck you, game. Thank you. Stop showing me everyone's damn pictures. Um, I found out what those little glowing things around here were. Apparently, they're just small chests, essentially. Uh, I was able to find some, uh, what was I able to find? Uh, a few runes that are actually were going to come here and, and pop into our axe. But something, just as I hit the, um, just as I, as I turned on my commentary again, check out Sigurd's sword. Does it, does it look kind of like a, like a crusader sword to anyone else? I mean, it makes sense. I mean, he's probably, you know, he's over around Europe, went to the Middle East and everything. So, I mean, it makes sense that he'd find... Some, you know, similar weapons, you know, of a European, of a, a European style as opposed to the Nordic sort of style. Welcome back, Wolfkist. Basically what I'm saying is, looks cool. Alright. Let's see here. Let's actually upgrade our... Yeah, let's, uh... Enhance the quality of our current gear. Make our boots better. I do not have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough ingots or anything to really enhance the quality. Yeah, I don't have enough to make Varen's axe better. Can I? How do I? Nickel ingot, tungsten, and carbon. Okay. So there's different kinds of ingots. That makes sense. Do you need anything else? I thought I talked to him to. That's all I need for now. Fine. I thought I talked to him to put runes and shit on. Oh, I can also upgrade on my own using. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. I can actually just upgrade on my own by using just random materials that we find out. Okay. So I can boost the attack, the stun. Alright, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna put a rune on here. Um, Just put a normal minor rune of rage. Just give me, give me a little bit more damage. And, okay, the other one was a... Yeah, I can't put any runes on this guy. But I can make it... Stronger. There we go. Okay, so the the little little markers there, the little um, you see how I I, I don't know ticks, bars, whatever. There, there's four slots. I'm gonna guess I can upgrade it four times. I'm gonna guess that's what's going on here. Okay, this is also how I make my quiver, hold more arrows. Okay. I thought that was the number of upgrades that we could get at the, um, uh, that we could get at the blacksmith, but no, that's how many just upgrades we can do just on our own. Oh, that's cool. I like that. L a little confusing, or not confusing, just a little more than it needs to have, but okay. Okay. 
All right, as I said, let's head over to uh, Kyotve's little uh, little settlement. Let's go. Do some raiding. Yeah, I was about to say, you gonna hop on? Need to row our way out. We can use the sail here, Abel. Warriors. Let the sail Thank you. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtval from Kurtwe. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his death. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stierbjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. You know, a weird question to you guys. Do you guys mind if I do some of these mysteries or whatever off camera? Because I really want to explore and go out and see what I can see. I mean, some of the wealth stuff is just, you know, you know find a chest. But, you know, the mysteries can be a mission, a mini boss fight or something. I, I don't know. I'll, like, I'll kind of use my best discretion. But... This area is off limits. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys don't mind, I think I'll do some of those on my own. I was playing Monster Hunter earlier. I'm trying to hit X to dodge. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Killed you. Killed you. He's running around like an assassin from Fire Emblem. It's the exact way they hold their swords. I mean, you know, I mean, he's an assassin or whatever, but it's just, it looks like such an inconvenient way to carry a... Is longsword the correct term? I will kill you. <laughs> He's about to huck his shield at me. I mean, you know, I, I, I understand that they're a... That, yes, I mean, it is, I guess, technically a long sword. But when I think long sword, I think great sword, you know, a... a just a big-ass cleaver. But I guess, yeah, I guess it is a long sword. Huh. 
Either way, it just seems like an inefficient way to wield that weapon. But what the hell do I know? Wow, man, having some frame rate issues here. Well, I also noticed like a, there was like an exclamation point or something. And we'll go collect that later. Yeah, there was like an exclamation point or something. Chilling around here. resources same thing over here iron ore and leather hail raven clan you reap a bloody harvest who are you Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthor, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help. But I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. You know, I, I... Give us a hand. Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. As I was about to say, I understand that their culture has a lot of stuff with honor and, you know, all that, you know, all that stuff. I get it. A lot of cultures are that way. But does anyone else find it, I don't want to say weird, but it, it just how procedural they were with that. You know, you know, it's, is this a case of honor? Yes, it's a case of honor. Here is my reasoning for leading the charge. Okay, permission granted. And then Eivor requests the killing blow for this reason. And it just, yeah, I, it just, it, it, it seemed very, um, oh shit. We, uh. Or not, uh, not where we left off there. Yeah, because I want to head back to the Knotfall. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, like I said, I'm just kind of going to use uh, use my best judgment on what mysteries and what stuff to show and what stuff, you know. Okay, well, I was kind of running around this island here. Um, yeah, I don't know why I exited the pause menu just to come back in here, but whatever. Uh, you know, just kind of running around completing stuff, you know, grabbing wealth and whatnot. So I, I think basically any time that it's going to be a mission or like a boss fight or something, I'll show you guys those. Like the gear and shit I found, eh, probably not just because it's just I found gear at some little outposts or whatever. Um, I will show those knowledge books, those because because that's kind of interesting how you get the skills because our, our you know skill points and everything seems like it's more percentage buffs or you know stuff like this where landing a blow directly behind somebody you know you know, it gives you passive abilities basically while the books of knowledge give you the more active abilities which I I, I think that's an interesting there you go let's take some. Extra resistance against uh, you know, poison, and uh, mostly because I want that that critical. Um, so yeah, the the way this game does combat abilities is interesting. Uh, I I think it makes more sense. I'm still not a fan of the actual abilities themselves, but it makes sense how you get them and everything like that. You know, you're not going through a skill tree. The skill tree is more passives and pure attributes. Round and round. You arrived without a sound. Are you a scald? I've never heard poetry shouted in this way. A scald? Oh no, not at all. I am truly looking for honor and have become lost as a result. You're looking for honor here? It's a bit remote. I am the seventh son of a seventh son. I am expected to bring great honor to my family. But everything has been done. My uncles and brothers have all had great victories, or even greater deaths. There's nothing left for me to do. The gods have been deaf to my pleas, but you are here. So you want a great victory from me, or a great death? No! I want to live, and I could not possibly hope to win against you. That is true. But maybe you could <laughs> lead me to a victory. I can tell by looking at you, you're not a great warrior. You know it too. There's no reason to deny this. I could bring you a chance at honor. An animal of some kind. Something you could handle. Yes, yes. That could work. I could add a few details. Nothing too exaggerated. Scalds do it all the time. So now you're a scald. Do not go anywhere. I will only do this once. I will be here. On my honor. Okay, so what are we supposed to do with this guy? Is there a quest or something? Um, yeah, bag. That's what I'm looking for. 
And just collectible bullshit. No, no quest paper or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know, uh... Supposed to like draw these wolves? Well, where are you, Wolfie? Come on. I think that thing's glitched. Come on. I'm working on it, asshole. Win your honor. They are much bigger up close. <laughs> I do not think I can do this. I do not think I can do this. Come, Mel. Honor calls. <laughs> <laughs> I like that axe throw. That's, that that is a pretty cool ability. Smart. Use your glimmer. If I if I help him, is that does that count? Or I have to let him kill it himself. Not great, as far as deaths go. But neither was he. <laughs> I like that. Not great as far as deaths go, but neither was he. Fantastic, Eivor. Kind of being an asshole, but it is what it is. So yeah, like I was saying, I probably won't do the the wealths for the most part. I'll just kind of keep to myself, you know, or I might do what I did with those books of, uh, those books of knowledge, you know, just kind of pop in and say, hey, I found one. Well, yeah, with the mysteries, I I don't know. I'll take it by case by case basis. As, as at least that's my plan, you know. As always, if you guys, you know, hopefully you guys trust my judgment and whatnot. Basically, I'm just trying to see how much I can get away with uh, running around and doing whatever I want off camera. <laughs> Dalvinga. Oh, okay. Apparently we are not uh, friendly with these guys. Go, go, go. Oh, it was a tattoo design. I thought it would be a... I thought it would be a song. Oh, okay, no. It looks like we're friends with the people here. It was the people in that, like, little encampment. That don't, uh, don't like me too much. God damn, I don't know. Am I missing an update or something? I'm just gonna do some quick stuff here in this uh, here in this town before I close out. I'm not. I'm also not gonna make you guys sit through watching me play that game again. What tiny little child approaches? Me? 
Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. <laughs> I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Oh, you know, we're... Yeah, this is gonna be a big bet. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? You have the form of a very large swine. I, uh, I'm not awed by your muscles, but shocked by your pride. You have the form of a very large swine. Come on, you can do better than that. Oh, really? I like that one, actually. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. I don't like your features or your hair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? I know you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. You've the wit and the charm of a wood tick. I can't say that I have. You're uniquely obtuse, yeah. No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Brutal! I adore it! <laughs> Wonderful! Rare to find someone with any flighting skin. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service. You there! You look like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? Make way for Eivor, the terror of the western shores! It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested? How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Huh. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some <sighs> reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk, or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're just gonna get into... Oh, is this gonna be like a... Like a fist fight sort of thing? Oh, okay. What they lack in experience, they make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron, into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashield the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So, those three, yeah? I've handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. 
Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Ava Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. God damn, what is with the frame rate? Ava. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? You see what? It just it keeps sputtering and... Fight! This is all over the place. You have much to learn. Ow. It was an honor beating you. Rolf, your raiders are tougher than they look. Tougher than you know. Thorgils got back up after you went down. He finished the fight. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. <laughs> Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra. For cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Yeah, I, I like these little world events. They're, they're nice. Just nice little side stories or whatever. I mean, I just realized I've been I've, this video has gone on pretty long, uh, yet I've shown barely any story content. It, it's um, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. I'm just, I'm this is it, this is one of the first AC games in a while that I'm actually just having fun exploring the world and seeing what there is to see. And I'd also say these world events, I actually like them better than a lot of other like side stories in games, just because they're they're short and quick and, and they they don't try and do too much, or they don't promise me uh, how to put it. I feel like a lot of games that do side quests, something like Ghost of Tsushima, if you want them to be full on side quests, you need them to do more than they did. But in this game, they're just little side stories. They're quick, three, four-minute little tales. They're Welcome, perfect. Welcome, warrior. Sulke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive, like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfdan the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varen wore the night he was killed. Eh? Uh oh. Eivor? I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Kjotve pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kjotve. I ran! Coward! I should cut you down! No! <laughs> you will answer for your actions. There we go. And see what I mean? Just short, just like if that was if you were gonna call that a side quest, I'd sit and go, alright, that's that's way too much. But you know what? For what it is, a small little just event eh, perfect all right there's not much else I really want to show here yeah I might show the drinking contest I'm gonna go get this uh go get this artifact here but 
you know, I'll, I'll just throw in a few cuts after I do my sign out, which uh, I want to say as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll try and figure out what's up with this frame rate, if that's just the game glitching out and it's just, you know, poorly optimized for next gen or whatever, which I've been whatnot with this game. Um, you know, if that's what it is, that's what it is. Um, and like I said, if I'm just missing an update or whatever, well, I'll make sure to run the update before the next video. So uh, either way, thank you so much for watching. Social media is in the description. Like, comment, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned more next time. Until then, my name's AJ Gales. This is the channel. I'm out. If you suck it back faster than me, you are the victor. Your silver. Let's see how much you'll risk. The horde it is. Ha! We drink. The Raman men rape the drag, say. Now we're fjandin stregur in. Men það vera allt sem að getur gert eigi að deyja. Sjá! 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 Got some on your boots. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>